Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft OneNote for project management. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you use Microsoft OneNote here for project management. Now, in this case, for example, you have already you have already a lot of information, or you've already added a bunch of text, or in this case, documents or any details they need for your project in Microsoft OneNote. But in this case, how do you fully utilize this and maybe use it for project management? Well, using it for project management is actually pretty easy, but there are going to be a few things that we you need to remember here. So first, before we actually discuss that, we need to access Microsoft OneNote. Now for you to access that, first thing you want to do is you want to go to Microsoft365.com and log in into your account. Now at the left side of your screen, you should be able to see OneNote. So you just need to right click on it and click on open in new tab. Now from here, it should open up your notebook here for OneNote. And what we need to do is we need to create a new one. So go and click on new at the very top here. Maybe we want to say this for our project. Now you could add whatever name for your notebook here, but I'm just go going to say notebook and click on create. Now, once our notebook here is created, we are now ready to start organizing the details that we want to add. So let's just wait for this to load up. And as you can see, we just created our notebook. So the good thing about OneNote here, it actually allows you to organize a bunch of uh, details. So for example, we can have our notebook here for this one. So if you want to add like for some a specific topic, you could create a one notebook here and add multiple pages. So basically organizing information that you want. So maybe I want to add a new section. So in this case is going to click on add section at the left side. Now you could go in and add a name here. So for example, I want to use this for project management, like what we are discussing before. So maybe I want to say project track. So let's just say this is going to be project track, but you could add whatever name here. This is just an example. Click on OK. Now, by default, it will create a page for us. So maybe I want to say this is for our uh, tracker. You can name this as tracker. Now, in this case, once we actually add it up, we are now ready to start adding our project management tool that we could use here. But the thing that we need to remember here is, well, uh, you could add different details here. So by the way, with the quick notes section here, you can rename this by right clicking on it, click on name section. So maybe I want to say this is going to be project notes. And let's go and click on OK. And you get to add whatever information you want. So for example, introduction. So that and it, it want to actually access your notebook here. They will be able to know what is currently happening, what are the specifics of that project. So you could add another page here, basically discussing the project uh, whole itself. So let's go ahead and add the or go to project track here. Let's go to our tracker and how do you use it? I uh, use this as a project management tool. Well, using this as a project management tool is fairly easy, but it's not like any other tool that you have there. Like for example, if uh, if you're familiar with uh, Trello or any other uh, similar tools like that, it's not necessarily built uh, specifically for tracking uh, projects, but you can still use this, but you need to do this manually in, in that case. Now before, they actually have an on option here that allows you to add loop components, but as of right now, it's actually uh, being removed by Microsoft. It's being moved out, so you won't be able to use it uh, in your uh, in OneNote uh, in, the, in certain regions, like mine in my case, I can't add loop components here. But we can still use the, uh, Microsoft One, OneNote here as a project management tool. But again, like what I said before, it's more on the manual side. So how do we start using it? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to type in uh, uh, all uh, details and we want to change the view itself. So let's go and go to view first. And we want to go ahead and basically go to rule or rule lines here. And you want to choose grid lines because we want to make sure that we align this properly. Now, in this case, maybe I want to say it is going to be the to-do list. And let's go ahead and press enter. Now, once we've done that, we now need to go to insert. And in here, you want to insert a table. Now, usually uh, a, prop, a task is going to be uh, three sections here. So first is going to be a task name, the uh, assignee and the priority of that task. Let's go ahead and add a three by one table here. And as you can see, we just added that. Now the thing, well, what the reason why we are doing this is we want to get this specific container here that we want to use for tracking our project. 
So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be the uh, task name. We can add this as the uh, priority. And we want to go ahead and name this as assignee. And from here, let's go ahead and basically uh, add another section here, which in this case will be the contents or the actual task name, priority, and assignee. Now, let's go ahead and organize this so that we'll be able to uh, make it bold. And once we've done that, what we need to do next is we want to organize the uh, text here itself. By the way, you could do whatever you want here. You can insert, like for example, I want to add like emojis. You could go and add that. Like for example, it's going to add an emoji here. So make it a lot cooler or if you want to uh, <laughs> add some uh, designs. But in this case, once you've done, done that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select the empty space here and you want to go ahead and drag the whole thing so that you'll be uh, highlighting the whole section here. But once you've done that, you want to go ahead and select the next section or the just the right hand side here. You want to go and paste. So once you've copied this one, so let's, let's go and copy the whole thing here. You can go and select. Let's go ahead and select this one as a whole. And once you've selected that, what we let's go and select the empty space first. Let's go and select it. Let's go and uh, press Control C. Go to the right side here, and you want to go and press Control V to paste it. Now all you need to do is we need to align this properly. And you can go ahead and change the text. So, for example, this is going to be a in progress. And we want to go ahead and do the same thing for the right side here. Maybe this is going to be the done section. By the way, you can add how many columns you want here. So, it doesn't really matter. So, how many columns you need, go ahead and just add it by using Control C and Control V to, pay, to copy and paste your uh, columns. So once you've done that, what we need to do next is we want to go and start adding our task or whatever task you want to uh, accomplish here or you want to add. So let's go and re, uh, make sure to position it properly so that it's not actually interfering with each other. But once you've done that, let's go ahead and start adding our details. So for example, the task name is create task and we want to add a priority is going to be priority one. The assignee is going to be maybe me. Let's go add our name here. And yeah, so that's how you add your task here. But how do we actually move this specific uh, task that we just recently created? Well, the thing here is whenever you hover a specific row here, a uh, like a pointer would actually appear at the right side. So going to make sure that we select that one. And we want to go ahead and hover over that pointer you see here at the left side. Now, when you press and hold on it and you drag it in another col uh, column or in this case, yeah, another column here, you'll have the option to move them around. As you can see, I can move them around as easily as I can. So I can move them in progress. I can move them in done if I need to. So yeah. So in this case, I'll just make sure that you align them properly because sometimes it will look like this one. So make sure that you're actually aligning it, aligning it underneath the specific columns that we created here. So yeah, let's move it in in progress. Now the quick thing that you could do here as well is add whatever thing that you want. So for example, if you want to add like, so let's go ahead, go to our task here. You could add like emojis, add links if needed be. You can even like, you don't need to limit yourself. We just assign here or as the column. You could also add like another, uh, another column here if you want. So for example, maybe I want to use, like for example, if you want to add like four columns instead, so you could use that and basically instead of just uh, task name, priority, and assignee, you can even like add image if you need an image or in an image section or column for your task. You could go and do that as well. But let's go and go back here. So yeah, so once you've done that and once you've organized your uh, tech, your columns here, you could go and go back to view here, go to rule lines and you go select none to remove that. And as you can see, we now have our board that's simulating a Kanban board here, which is something really cool that you could do here in OneNote. So yeah, so basically this is the only way that we could do or use OneNote for uh, project management. But if you're like, for example, this is only great like if you already have a lot of information and you can't actually migrate all the notes or any information that you have here in your notebook in another platform and you want to use OneNote directly for managing your projects. Well, you can still use that. You can use the method that I've just shown you. You just, again, you just need to press and hold on the following pop up here and just move them around. As you can see, I can move them around here. 
yeah so if you want to share this you could go and click on the top right here just click on share and you could go ahead and share the entire notebook and uh, from here we just need to select the appropriate option so in this case you can add the uh, group or email here you can change the property so anyone with the link or share, anyone does it require sign in or you can share this to only specific people so that make sure that you can actually limit who can edit it you can go and click and choose edit or view so make sure you choose edit here so you, they can move tasks around but yeah so in this case you can go and go back here uh, enter the uh, the emails or copy the link and start sharing them. Let's so click and copy and just share this to your friends or your group mates or your uh, workmates and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.